Hey guys, it's Call Me Adam, and we are here live in New York City with Stephen Cole and David Evans to talk about Merman's Apprentice, which is going to be a one night only concert event at Birdland as part of Broadway Birdland series on June 15th at 7 p.m. Hey everybody, it's Adam, live and in person for you. Hey everybody, it's Adam, wonder who he'll interview. CallMeAdam.com And I'm very excited to talk to you guys about this show because, I mean, Ethel Merman is a musical theater legend and you guys wrote this fantastic show. My understanding of it is that it's based upon a fictitious storyline. Or is it? <laughs> yes, that, that is correct. Real people, fictitious stories, some fictitious people. Uh, I came up with a bizarre idea. I knew Ethel Merman uh, in the last years of her life, and so I knew the real lady. And I just one day thought, uh, what a funny idea if a little girl from Brooklyn named Muriel Plackenstein came to Manhattan and, and found her in 1970. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm not Muriel Plackenstein, am I? <laughs> <laughs> but, but because of my relationship with her, I just thought it would be a fun idea to see what would happen if they sang together mm -hmm. and the famous producer David Merrick saw them and uh, decided to star Muriel, 12-year-old girl, mm -hmm. in the first all-child cast of Hello, Dolly. Mm -hmm. So yes, fiction and reality at the same time. I love it. I mean, since you were friends with her in real life, what was it about her that made you really take to her? And then what made you guys want to work together for this show? Well, I took to her when I was really young because she was just the epitome of Broadway musical, mm -hmm. and I loved Broadway musicals. And, and then when I knew her, I found out there was a real vulnerable New York lady mm. behind all that brass, and she was really mm. funny and fun to be with. And then David and I met because we were doing uh, a, a musical I wrote called The Night of the Hunter, and he was the musical director. And yeah, and we, we had never met before that, and we worked together on that. Mm -hmm. I worked with a lot of different people, and I was looking for a new project, and I liked Stephen's work, and I liked Stephen, and so I sort of thought, let's talk about maybe finding something to do together. And mm -hmm. we tried a bunch of different things over a couple of years, I think, uh, and then he gave me this short story, or part of it, I don't think yeah, it was even done yet. Finish. Yeah, mm -hmm. gave me the short story and said, maybe there's something here, and I read it, and I said, well, yeah, I think this could be great. You guys have assembled an amazing cast for this show. Now don't get me wrong, I'm happy belting a song. In addition to Clea, it's Anita Gillette, Tony Award nominee, Tony Award nominee Richard Kind, who's also known for his TV roles, PJ Benjamin, who's currently the Wizard in Wicked, Elizabeth Teeter, who's the young queen Elizabeth in the audience on Broadway now. And she is quite an incredible young girl. I mean, we auditioned a bunch of people, and we didn't know her. She happens to be the, so the daughter of Lara Teeter, who's a sort of a legendary oh. Broadway dancer uh -huh. and actor. Um, but we didn't know that. We just, uh, you know, she just came in, and uh, she has, just has a fantastic voice. She's a, such a great kid. I think it's great that you are doing it as a one night only concert because it makes it an event, mm -hmm. and it makes it, yeah. you know, you have to come that night because right. If you don't, you're not going to see it. Right. So plus, we have such a special group of people mm -hmm. that uh, it's hard to get them all together for anything more than one night. Yes. Aside from it being a one night only concert, if you could give people one reason as to why they should come see Merman's Apprentice, what would that be? Oh, <laughs> it's a brand new musical. Mm -hmm. There, this has no Ethel Merman songs in it, just to get that out of the way. They don't sing There's No Business Like Show Business mm -hmm. or Everything's Coming Up Roses. Clea's done that act before. Mm -hmm. This is an original musical with an original story. and a, It's just a delightful musical comedy score, mm -hmm. the kind you really don't hear that much anymore, the kind mm -hmm. of Julie Stein, Jerry Herman, mm. but, but with, and very funny. I think it's wonderful that you are using Ethel Merman as the vehicle because like you were saying before, there may be people out there who don't know who she is, and you know, unless, like you said, unless they're musical theater geeks out there, of course they know, but, but a lot of people might not, and so it's a great way to keep her legacy alive. That's my dream, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel that too. I feel keeping, keeping the names of those great stars mm -hmm. out there 
is uh, is one of my goals, and and it's been it's just been fun to balance that act. Do you think this show shows a different side of Ethel than what was maybe perceived to the public? Oh yes, mm -hmm. yes, because I knew her as I mentioned as a very vulnerable regular lady with a great sense of humor. She was mm -hmm. also kind of childlike, and they most mm -hmm. people just see the brassy. Mm -hmm lady mm -hmm. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and and sitting in this very living room she sat right on that floor cross-legged watching my tv and she would make jokes about screen. her it wasn't a flat <laughs> screen then it's a little while ago but it was a big screen it was a big projection tv and she would make fun of herself she would laugh mm -hmm. she would sing along she would point out and say that's when i was married to ernest borgnine <laughs> she was just mm -hmm. fun and and that was the thing and because my friendship with her was not professional mm -hmm. at all it was just her and this I was in my 20s so mm. I was a kid too and, and I just her and a friend and she mm. respected me and I respected her and that's what I wanted to show with this little girl and that it wasn't a mother figure it mm -hmm. was two friends two pals who could teach each other just ask anybody who's had um, Adam for the business of show call me Adam.com.